Hey guys, I'm Profits from Profits TV. Welcome to another series in my Trade Skill Master Volume 2. This video is going to be covering sniping to win. Let's get started. First, open up your Trade Skill Master by doing slash TSM from the command line or from your actual minimap icon. You can click Trade Skill Masters, open that up, and there it is. From here, sniping is actually a concept of constantly scanning posts or items from the last page of the auction house. Last page meaning these are the items that are most recently posted by people on the auction house. So it's always looking at the new stuff, the new stuff, the new stuff. What's been posted, what's been posted. And based upon your current price source, which we're going to talk about in a little bit, it shows you potential uh, options or items to actually snipe, which sniping is basically just snatching an item from someone before they notice that they might have misposted it or mispriced it. Uh, someone's trying to sneak an item across faction now that auctions, auction houses are actually combined, both factions are on one. Or you can see people are legitimately just trying to dump items. They come back to World of Warcraft and they look at their guild banks or their mailboxes and they're like, you know what, I don't want any of this. Let's just dump it all out to the auction house. And they don't use an auction house add-on or it's it's not properly set up and then you have all these items that are appearing there and people take advantage of the sniping option so there are some things to know about sniping sniping is super super fast guys meaning that if you see a deal and you don't take action upon that deal within a couple seconds the item's going to be gone You're, it's either going to be snagged up by bots there are people that leverage auction house bots that snipe things up very fast uh, or you're going to see other people using sniping, which will snipe it up very fast. So on average, between seeing the item first listed and the time it takes you to actually click through and buy it, you probably have about four to six seconds uh, to totally take advantage of that item being listed. Uh, with that said, not every item that you see is potentially uh, something that you want to snipe. So there is some knowledge and some experience that you'll gain over time, uh, like anything. If you're working with craftables, it's the same thing. What sells, what doesn't sell. Uh, you get to understand what items are good and what items uh, are not so good or you might want to take a chance with. So let's talk about where you actually set up uh, the sniper options. Sniping used to be a separate module, but now it's actually combined with the shopping module. So if you click on the options up at the very top, options, and underneath modules, if you have it expanded, under these shopping at the bottom, you'll actually see sniper options. These options, when you first load them up, are actually going to look like this. It's going to be zero copper down here in the bottom. And that's basically meaning that it's disabled. So if you ever tried to go into uh, the sniping from the auction house and wonder why nothing was coming up, it's, it might be because you never set it up, or it might be because you're in a low populated realm and there's not a lot of items flowing through. Or it might be uh, people are just buying them before you actually have a chance to see them. So here, very basic options, guys. Uh, you have a sound option, which I'm currently keeping off because I want to show you the difference of what Sniper sounds like uh, when you see a lot of great deals coming up. The sound is addicting. A lot of people that I know uh, run multiple accounts uh, on their battle net. So if they're playing on, for example, US and EU, uh, and they're playing on the EU side, they'll keep their US side sitting at the auction house sniping, and then when certain sounds are heard, they know to tab over or to look at the other monitor, and then they buy stuff or they just forget about it and pass it. So plenty of options are available. So right now we're just gonna paste in a small custom price, and don't worry about this, I'm gonna give you multiple choices to choose from. Uh, at the end of this video, I'll give you links to different people's pay spins that have kind of over the over the time tweaked current settings taken into account multiple different price sources and kind of tweak this for you where you don't have to come up with your own custom price if you so choose to you can perfectly uh, come up with any price source that you want trade skill master has built-in price sources uh, that you're able to pull from if you want and you can learn that just by doing TSM sources and you can actually scroll through on the bottom and you can see uh, the price sources that are available to you that you can go to and pick percentages from, combine them, average them, min, max, uh, tons of different items that you can pull from right there. 
So how does Trade Skill Master work with uh, TSM properly set up? Again, we basically entered some basic pricing details underneath the options and shopping. We enabled below vendor sell price because of course you want to take advantage of anyone that, that potentially lists and you'll be shocked because people do this all the time. They list items that are actually below vendor sell, which means that item you can actually walk over to any vendor, sell it, and you would actually gain a profit from it. Albeit the profit might be one copper or one silver, but it's still a profit. So we entered in a price source here. I'm going to click OK on this line, and there's our price source. We have something in there now. We don't have any sound set up yet because I want to show you uh, when I do set that sound, it's going to be going off like crazy because I'm kind of on like a high populated realm. So we're going to open up the auction house. I happen to be in my garrison. And underneath custom filter and other searches, click on this button. And underneath other searches, there's a sniper button right here. Click on that. And what this basically does, again, this might show items fast. It might show items slow. Don't worry. As long as you have a price source there and it's kind of accurate, uh, you'll see eventually items coming up on this list here. First of all, let me say the market value could be skewed uh, based upon price sources, so that's why it's very important to have a good, solid, custom price source so you're not misled by this. Most people, when they use Trade Skill Master or other add-ons, if they see the market value in blue, meaning it's low, it's below 40% uh, or 30% or sometimes down to 3%, they say, oh, that's a hell of a deal, let's buy it. And that's not necessarily the case. That can be fooled based upon people listing prices that are super high and then coming back and selling them uh, above normal price costs just to confuse or confuse people that actually just go by this column. So Sniper is activated. You see at the bottom it will always say scanning last page. And remember the last page is actually the most current items that are being listed as of right now. And you'll see them going up there. You'll see them if your page fills up pretty fast. You'll see them go pretty fast. Sniper before used to involve multiple clicks of the mouse. So I'd have to click on the item. Notice the buyout button appears. I'd have to click buyout and then I'd have to wait for this to come up and then I'd have to click buyout again. With sniping now, as long as you have your macros set up, you can actually just click on something. Like if I wanted these high, uh, hibernal bracers, I can click on it and actually scroll and just buy that right away just by doing a control key and a modifier key scrolling and binding it to my scroll wheel up and down I can actually buy things very fast so if I wanted to bu actually buy this I can just highlight it and buy it don't mind the phone I guess it's dialing for dollars so that's the case right here you click on the item and then you can actually buy it really fast notice if I click on the item and I start scrolling when uh, my cursor is inside it just scrolls up and down that's the same thing with uh, shopping and actually selling things through the auction operation. You want to make sure that your mouse pointer, when you highlight it, is off of the actual active window. So if you see this happening, put your mouse just over on the side and then you can actually uh, quickly buy stuff just like that. Notice that you can actually, in Trade School Master 3, you can look at other tabs while it's still running. Notice that shopping is highlighting it says that it's still actually running. You cannot, you cannot do any other functions, but you can actually look through different tabs where before it would actually cancel uh, what you currently were doing. So now I'm going to actually hit stop. That's the only way to actually stop the module besides closing the auction house. So I'm going to hit stop. And then you can actually manually go through these if you wanted to as well after. Or if you wanted to search and say, all right, what are these actual glyph of blitz really worth here? You can actually shift click on that and it will do a search for you and show you exactly what things are. And if you wanted to buy at that point, you can click on it, buy out, and you can buy appropriately individually or through the sniper option. And then again, just to start sniper again, it's always custom filters and searches, sniper, and there it goes with the sniper searches. With sound enabled now, let's close this. I'll actually keep it running. I'm going to do a slash TSM to open up Trade Skill Master. I'm going to go into my options, into my shopping, and now I'm going to enable the sound. There's multiple different sounds that you can do just by testing it out. And you can actually click through each of these. You can actually hear them dinging or coming through as I go through them. 
So I typically do auction window open. That's the actual sound you're going to hear. And you'll notice now if I stop this and I do another search, you'll see it going off like crazy. Which is the reason why I had it turned off in the beginning, because it, it can get pretty annoying if you have a lot of things that are going up in the auction house. But if you're trying to use auction house to get awesome uh, snipes, you definitely want to keep the sound on. And as mentioned before, if I'm doing something on another screen, I can actually uh, just keep going without any problems and it will continue to snipe. So from here, let's go into and actually look at uh, the features of enabling the mouse pointer to your scroll wheel if you do not have that set up. Slash TSM or from the minimap, open back up your Trade Skill Master. And on the main page, you have a macro setup. Click that tab. And then here is where you simply check off what you want. By default, everything that's checked here is actually there, which is the shopping buyout button that is you potentially want and the confirmation for sniping. You can also have the destroy button if you are doing anything with herbs or ores and stuff like that. You can check that off as well. The important thing is at the bottom. The scroll wheel direction up and down is there by default. The default modifier key is actually control. If you actually wanted to switch to alt or shift, you can do that just by checking off the boxes. And this is the key that you hold down while scrolling your scroll wheel up and down to simulate that buying, to simulate the buying out option in the confirmation window box. I highly recommend at the bottom is this is where you actually activate all of these. Press this long box here a couple times three four times should do it uh, just to make sure that it properly binds sometimes it doesn't bind if you just press it once so clicking it multiple times just to confirm that and you are good to go at this point guys you are set up with uh, the sniping option in trade skill master version 3 you have a macro now bound to your scroll wheel to buy things rapidly up and down holding down that control key and you're ready to go so thank you for stopping by and to listen to this video. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, thank you for your time. Click that sub button on the YouTube channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy gaming and happy earning.